Davy Crockett from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, en.wikipedia.org. David Crockett was an American folk hero usually referred to as Davy Crockett. He represented Tennessee in the United States Congress, went to Texas, and died at the Alamo. Early Life Crockett was born in Greene County, Tennessee, descendant from Ulster Scots and French Huguenots who had fled from France to Ulster because of persecution from the Roman Catholic Church. He was the fifth of nine children and was not well educated. Crockett stood about 5 foot 10 inches or 1.78 meters and weighed approximately 190 pounds. On September 24, 1813, he enlisted in the 2nd Regiment of Tennessee, Volunteer Mounted Riflemen, for 90 days and served under General and later President Andrew Jackson in the campaign against the Creek Indians. In 1815, his wife Polly died. She was 27 years old and the mother of three children. David remarried in 1815 to Elizabeth Patton and had four children with her. Political Career In 1826 and 1828, he was elected to Congress. As a congressman, Crockett supported the rights of squatters who were barred from buying land in the West without already owning property. He also opposed President Jackson's Indian Removal Act, and his opposition to Jackson caused his defeat when he ran for re-election in 1830. He won again when he ran in 1832. In 1834, his book, titled A Narrative of the Life of Davy Crockett, was published. Crockett went to the East to promote the book, and was narrowly defeated for re-election. In 1835, he was again defeated for re-election, saying, you may all go to hell, and I will go to Texas. And he did just that, joining the Texas Revolution. In November of 1835, he left Tennessee for Texas. On the 14th of July, 1836, Crockett and 65 other men signed an oath to the provisional government of Texas. Each man was promised about 4,605 acres, 19 square kilometers, of land as payment. On February 6, 1836, Crockett and about a dozen remaining men rode into San Antonio de Bexar. The Texas Revolution He took part in the Battle of the Alamo, occurring February 23rd through March 6th, 1836, and was assigned to defend the South Palisade in front of the chapel. The Texas forces of 180 to 250 men were overwhelmed by the 13 to 1600 Mexican soldiers. Tradition has it that Crockett went down fighting inside the Alamo, Controversial evidence has come to light since 1955, indicating that there may have been a half dozen or so survivors, with Crockett perhaps among them, taken prisoners by Mexican General Manuel Fernandez Castrillon after the battle and summarily executed on orders by General and President of Mexico Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. Both views enjoy support among historians. Post Alamo. In 1838, Robert P. Crockett went to Texas to administer his father's land claim. In 1854, Elizabeth Crockett finally came to Texas, where she died in 1860. Crockett in the Movies. One of his sayings, which were published in almanacs between 1838 and 1856, along with those of Daniel Boone and Kit Carson, was, Be always sure you are right, then go ahead. On the 15th of December, 1954, 
His legend was again popularized by Walt Disney, who produced a three-episode television series about him, starring Fess Parker, the Davy Crockett Indian Fighter, Davy Crockett Goes to Congress, and Davy Crockett at the Alamo. The last show aired on the ABC network on the 23rd of February, 1955. Buddy Epson co-starred as his sidekick, George E. Russell. The shows were an overnight success, and coonskin caps like the one he wore in those films were all the rage for young boys and girls for a time. Walt Disney said that if he had realized how popular the Davy Crockett series would become, he would not have killed off his hero after three episodes. Davy Crockett did, in fact, make a return with Disney in two further adventures, Davy Crockett and the Keelboat Race, and Davy Crockett and the River Pirates. In these two episodes, Crockett faced off against Mike Fink, another early American legend. After that Crockett fad had waned, John Wayne starred as Crockett in the 1960 feature film The Alamo, the first film he also directed. More recently was the John Lee Hancock version of The Alamo in 2003. It is said that Billy Bob Thornton's Crockett is one of the more accurate portrayals. Thornton's Crockett was a man trying to downplay his legend, but in the end he couldn't escape it. Perhaps this is best described by a scene where Crockett is speaking to Bowie, in which he says, If it was just me, simple old David from Tennessee, I might drop over that wall some night, take my chances. But that Davy Crockett feller, they're all watching him. In the movies, Crockett has been played by Charles French, Dustin Farnham, Colin Landis, Jack Perrin, Lane Chandler, Robert Barrett, George Montgomery, Trevor Bardet, Arthur Huninkut, James Griffith, Brian Keith, Johnny Cash, Tim Dunnigan, David Zucker, John Schneider, Scott Wickware, Justin Howard, and Billy Bob Thornton. See the full text version of the article for related articles, external links, and further reading. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License. Available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl dot html. Davy Crockett from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. en.wikipedia.org